Thank you. Oh my gosh, we finally got the win. <laughs>
All right, so this does kind of force us into the cinder cloud or the abrade now, I suppose. Um, so I think we throw it here. Just go ahead and get that out. All right. So they're going to exile a card in our hand. Probably the Cinderclasm, if I had to guess, because that just deals with their whole board. So I feel like that's probably the best bet. Um, I mean, Hinata is a key card in our, our deck, obviously, but we actually can't play it yet. Um, we could discard the Magma Opus to do it, but we're not quite there. There is that Cinderclasm again. We kind of expected that. That's fine. And they're going to throw the counter there. All right. Um, all right. Well, I think the move is going to just have to be discarding that Magma Opus. I don't really think we have another option. Uh, and truth be told, they're going to be able to get this Luminarch Aspirant out of range of the Cinderclasm, which is definitely not ideal for us. But we can go that Hinata route and try and uh, hopefully get some damage in long term with that. We'll, we'll see. I wish we had a White Source already. I wouldn't discard the Magma Opus if we did. Um, but I think we just have to kind of push ourselves on that mana end and either get that Cinderclasm down or get the Hinata down. Again, we can just use the Crackle with power at some point, but I think we're not quite there yet. Let's go ahead and discard the Magma Opus just to get this down. This is a very annoying spell. <laughs> Non-creature spells your opponents cast with mana value for a greater cost two more to cast. Uh, that's a big tax on us, for sure. Uh, okay. So, let's go ahead and play this. I think we'll play it for the red. So, we can Cinderclasm and get rid of two of the threats here. That still leaves this, which is not great, but I actually think we kind of have to, don't we? Because if we play Hinata... So, we can play Hinata. We have a blocker for one of these, but then they just outpower us here. So we're almost forced into the Cinderclasm. And yeah, I think we just have to do it. The The trick is the uh, if that Luminarch Aspirant sticks around, we don't really have a way to start outpowering what they're going to have in the air. They could have just thrown a, thrown a counter on the Spellbinder and we would have been in worse shape. Wow, they just have another one. Okay. Well, uh, we may just be dead this, this game, uh, which is fine. We, you know, that's okay. It happens, but... That's a uh, Rydeen. So good. All right. A white source would be great. Be really killer. Um, and I do like the Sanctify, by the way. The fact that we main deck the Artifact or Enchantment Hate is a big tell as to where the meta is right now. I mean, we're seeing a lot of different options for that. All right. Well, we did get a white source. Um, and I think we just have to play this out not exactly great like they can still fight through it of course with this and you know the double up here but we'll see how this goes all right let's make sure so it deals five times x to each of up to two targets uh or up to x targets so we can use this to kill the radin um we can deal it four or five and that'll exactly kill it I mean, that's probably just the play. <laughs> we don't block. Unfortunately, we just take it and hope for the best. Ooh, I don't like it. All right, another white source. Um, I mean, I'll take it because we kind of need it. So X equals one. We just steal it there. So that does kill that. Uh, but we don't have a safe place to attack in here, uh, unfortunately. So now we just have to kind of hope for the best. Oh, no. No, they kill us. Immediately kill us. Dang, they have the Brutal Cathar. Man, what an interesting game. We were kind of close to stabilizing, but we just didn't, didn't draw what we needed to draw. All right, fair enough. We lost game one, but let's go ahead. Let's jump into game two. All right, guys, here we are for game number two. And uh, yeah, I mean, this is definitely an easy keep. We've got the Abrade, we've got the Hinata, uh, and we even have a Crackle with power that we can hopefully use to kind of stabilize if we get to that point. So let's definitely go with this. Uh, there's a Shatter Skull smashing as well. I'm gonna lead with that, uh, that coast. Again, we don't have a turn one play in the deck. And so it's kind of easy to just lead on these tap lands and, you know, hope for the best. 
All right. Uh, let's let's just play the snow land out. Now the question is, do we want to kill this now uh, so they can't go for like a next turn uh, a Sika's chariot? I guess if it is a Sika's chariot though, we can just kill it anyway. Hmm. Let's see what they do. This might be a bad way to do this, but we're going to try it. Let's see if they attack in. Yeah, they do. Wow. All right, cool. Well, let's go ahead and kill the uh, Sculptor of Winter, or at least attempt to. They could have plenty of things here, but I think this is definitely the play. Um, interesting they didn't use this to ramp into anything. It's very curious. I'm cool with it. Super cool with it, but just kind of thought they would. They might have a snakeskin veil or something like that here, uh, which is kind of fine. Where I, I don't particularly care to fight over a sculptor of winter. Okay. So they threw two 1 1 counters on it with that Quandrix command. That's very good. Um, all right. Well, gotta just do it and hope for the best. Um, kind of sucks because this is going to be a little tricky but that crackle with power is going to be able to deal with this uh which is nice at some point now they do i assume have quite a number of these quandrix commands if not the full four in their list so a little worried about what they could have here but we'll see uh and worth noting this fights this very very easily so a little worried about that too but that's okay I will say, I don't think we've played terribly. I think we've just had bad, like a bad run of it in the in that first game. Now, we definitely could have probably done things a little cleaner, but I actually don't think we were all that off. Um, I think we did okay. Uh, hmm. Let's see what the opponent wants to do. They're really considering what to do, I suppose. Um, okay. They used a timeout. Maybe they maybe they disconnected. Guys, this is a great time to remind you, if you enjoy these videos, we try and do gameplay every single day. Uh, and we've actually held to that for almost two months now, which is pretty amazing for us. Uh, and tomorrow, guys, tomorrow's my actual birthday. So we're gonna actually have some fun tomorrow and do something kind of silly, I'm sure. Uh, I, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm just imagining we will. Regardless, though, uh, I really do appreciate any and all support on our videos. It really does mean a lot. You guys have really shown up in massive numbers um, to, to support the videos. And again, that just means so much to me. I can't tell you how much. So let's go ahead and play the Hinata here. Again, no reason not to. I'm assuming they've disconnected. So maybe we'll get a free win. Oh, nope, they're here. They are here. Uh, so what they could have which it didn't look like they did. They could have had the little counter creature, whatever it's called, uh, that's like two blue and two green. They could play it off of the sculptor, so that would have been a possibility. I fully expect that they can fight off this Hinata. Um, there's no doubt in my mind that they've got like a Blizzard Brawl or something along those lines. But that being said, this might be kind of a counter deck. Yeah, okay, there's a the Blizzard Brawl. Sure, you got it. Um, the good news is next turn we can just crackle with power on this and kill it. Uh, this deals five times X, so if X is one, it's five, and we kill. Now we just have to hope they don't have anything. Um, let's go here. Go ahead and deal one. Just get that off the field now. Um, alright. Well... I mean, we've slowed them down. I have no clue what they're going to have at this point, though. Uh, all right. Cool. Thankfully, we can easily kill that. Uh, we've got the Cinderclasm. Um, so I'm definitely going to. Very interested in this deck. It's a very fascinating deck, we'll say. Go ahead and do this. Um... I mean, I'm just going to deal... How much damage do we want to deal to it? I feel like we should deal the full four. Just in case they've got some kind of, like... I've got counters. You know what I mean? Like, let's let's be safe. Um, Alright, cool. 
I'm just in the in the mode. Based on our hand, we're kind of in like removal mode and hoping for the best here. So interesting. Okay. Well, Graven Lore is very good, but this is gonna take their entire turn. Uh, so Ooh, excuse me. That's good. Slow them down a little bit. Um, they must not have had any kind of threat this turn, which is great for us. But they now have a full hand. Uh, interesting they didn't, like, instant speed that out. Alright, we have land. <laughs> we have a million land, yay! Uh, I wish this could deal damage to the face, that'd be really good. Do they still not have anything? Alright, cool. Oh man. We've drawn so many lands, guys. Oh, This feels terrible, but like, what can you do? <laughs> we should still have anything. Um, we've got a lot of big, like, high damage output spells. Uh, an inscription would be nice. Like, kind of just anything <laughs> at this point would be really good. Um, So the question is, do I just kill this now with the Cinderclasm? But I think I wait. All right. <laughs> I mean, what can you do? We've drawn nothing. Um, main deck Sanctify in this instance is not great, but. All right. Um, so I think prior to them putting the counters on, we're gonna end up Cinderclasming. Yeah. It just gets that creature out of there, so then this can't throw counters on anything. Um, hmm. I mean, like, what can we do? We have nothing. We don't even have a man land. We've drawn so many lands, so this now just gets to flip for free. Uh, that makes this useless, this useless, and this useless. I mean, like, we can do nothing. It's, uh, it's a travesty. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow, that's really, really good. Dang. What in the world? <laughs> that is so good. That is really amazing. So now we just can't target anything. Um, we can play a land. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. So we could do this for two. <laughs> That's the best thing we can do. Yeah. Oh, I guess we could have done it for three, but it didn't matter. Oh, no, we couldn't have. We already played a land. All right. That was just bad. We drew so many lands. Let's give it one more shot, guys. Let's see if we can get a win with this. All right, guys, here we are for our third game, most likely our final game. And yeah, I mean, we can keep this for sure. We do need a white source at some point, but we've got the double cinderclasm and the abrade to kind of deal with some some big stuff here. I'm going to go ahead and lead on that hall. We can drop the, uh, the lava glide pathway next turn. Um, and this, of course, allows us to either abrade or cinderclasm as we see fit. Um, we do get that white source as well, which is actually really helpful. Um, looks like the opponent may not be doing anything. Cool. Fine by me. Let's go ahead and throw that out. And again, we just pass. Uh, pretty straightforward game so far. Cool. So most likely mono white life gain. If they're playing Revitalize, that's a pretty big tell. Because, I mean, what else... What else would really be running Revitalize? Curious, though, that they're not playing anything. Maybe it's just a control list? Like, Mono White Prison, somehow? Oh, they're gonna go ahead and kill this Hall of the Storm Giants. Wow. That is an aggressive play. We were nowhere near playing that. <laughs> um, but I'm cool with it. Wow, this is actually kind of annoying, though, because we can't do both. Uh, that's fine. We'll just get a snow land here. Oh, they've got green. Today I learned. Um, all right, let's do this. And let's just go ahead and throw this out. Now I'm really curious as to what they're doing. So Lesnia life gain, perhaps? Maybe they just didn't have the green that they needed? That's always a possibility. 
Um, but this really is going to help us out because, again, this abrade becomes Sheever, so now we can do multiple things in a turn if we see fit. Uh, they're gaining a lot of life off of these revitalizes. <laughs> and they've got a dig up. This is an interesting one. Uh, fully expect them to have a Doom Scar at some point. There's like no doubt in my mind they've got a Doom Scar. Uh, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and attack in here. And I think we just pass. Uh, again, all this is instant speed stuff, so we really don't have to worry about it quite yet. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's annoying, but fine. Um, the question is, how do we want to proceed? Do we want to... I think we want to do this. Um, let's do this and this. Give ourselves as much mana as we can and draw some more stuff. Um... I think we're going to get rid of the Cinderclasms. I don't think this is going to be a deck where Cinderclasm is that helpful. Might be wrong. I could very easily be wrong here, but let's force them to have another one, right? This is going to be quite helpful. All right. Man, again. Okay. So this is going to be a really annoying game, is what this amounts to. Um, just enter it tab. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and do this, and we're just going to scry two and draw two, I think. I think we draw that. And not as good, obviously, and then we have another thing. Um, all right. I don't know, this is a weird one. This is just like, Selesnia kill everything. <laughs> Interesting. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That gives us eight. Um, I think we just play Hinata out. I think we enter that tap. Um, I think we pass. It's going to be interesting. So this is definitely going to get a lot of damage in. I mean, six is quite a bit. I'm just going to take it. Um, and then we'll see what they actually do here. They could, I mean, they didn't activate the cave, which is kind of interesting. So I'm curious to see if they just have like a really big spell this turn, which they don't. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, whatever. Um, all right, so we're gonna kick her this. All right, we're gonna bounce this, submit one. We're gonna draw two cards and do this. All right. Wow. Um, you know, weirdly, <laughs> I think we keep them. Um, the, I mean, these draw us into a lot of stuff, so I feel like it's worth it to keep. Uh, it also creates a threat. Like, it kind of does everything we want, so I'm definitely just going to hold on to that. I don't know. We'll see. What an interesting game this has turned into. Um, ah, uh, all right. This is such an annoying deck to play against. Um, yeah, that's fine. Sure. Um, we're just gonna Magma Opus. I know we could do this on their turn, but I don't care at this point. Um, yep. If we draw a land, we can also get an Abrade out, which is helpful. All right, they're gonna channel the greater all right land is good uh let's go ahead and throw it out for the white side that leaves up nah it's sorcery speed that leaves up the afraid at least all right i don't know what's going on <laughs> like <laughs> i haven't seen like a selesnia control list potentially ever in this standard yeah, i think ever in this standard environment i have not seen it so this is definitely a first for me um 
very curious to see if they activate that cave. There's really no reason they shouldn't. Okay. That's cool. Um, I'm going to express a iteration. <laughs> uh, yeah, we put Crackle in the hand for sure. Um, we'll just put this in the, the deck and then do this. All right, so let's see. Can we kill them? One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. So we can deal close to enough. Next turn, we can just kill them, right? Uh, so with that in mind, <laughs> I think what we're going to do is create an illusion. And this is going to kind of force them to want to, to kill some stuff here. Oh, I guess we... No, nah, we couldn't have. All right. We'll just see what happens. I think we can win next turn, depending on if they gain life. Um, but I think we're kind of forcing them into a position where they have to deal with the 5-5. Five five. And if they don't deal with the 5-5, five five, we can get in for an attack, then crackle with power, and theoretically still get a good bit here. I'm curious why they didn't farewell first. Seems kind of odd. You could have farewelled, then done that, and then be in a much more advantageous position. It's just like a weird... Why'd they kill their own one ones? There was literally no reason to do that. I don't understand. <laughs> All right, so we can do this for three. Right, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Do we do it? I'm just gonna do it. Please just win the game. Thank you. Oh my gosh, we finally got the win. <laughs> Wow, okay, well, after 28 minutes of recording, let's talk about this deck. <laughs> Alright, this was a weird, weird list. First of all, Legend VD, I do want to say uh, immense points for creativity. I think this is a really fun deck, and I could see a world where it like really goes off, and I think that was kind of what I was hoping for. We didn't have that experience, but that's not a fault of the deck so much as I think we had some bad draws, and I definitely could have probably played a little bit better, but... All that to say, we finally got a win, and it was with Crackle with power, so I'm counting that. That was perfect. <laughs> oh, man. Regardless, this is a very cool deck, uh, at the very least. It's not going to be Tier 1, of course. We know that. Um, but it's not meant to be. I think Legend VD did a really good job of um, really capitalizing on Hinata's abilities there. And I think given the matchups we had, we were going to have a hard time with, uh, regardless. But I think we actually did okay in the play patterns that we kind of managed to pull out. Uh, that second game was probably the worst in terms of we just drew so many lands we couldn't really do anything. And then they, they of course had hexproof threats, so the caretaker we really can't deal with either. Um, but you know what? It was still fun. We had a blast today, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. That's what we're all here to do. We're just here to have some fun on this channel. So I really hope you guys enjoyed following along with these games and this amazing deck. Go check out Legend VD down below. And uh, everybody else, I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. Thank you so much. Uh, really do appreciate you guys hanging out with me today. Tomorrow's my birthday. So we're going to have some fun tomorrow. But uh, until then, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.